stigmas. What would my colleagues, what would my peers think? And I started numbing out, taking one more just to feel calm because I didn't know how else to deal with the symptomology that comes with PTSD. The first thing that I thought of was, they're gonna know. My department's gonna know, everyone's gonna know, and I have no more credibility. Why is it that law enforcement is the one profession where the expectation is to be robotic and to not be human in so many levels? Imagine if you had a lot of police officers that started getting better that learned how to sleep, that learned how to take care of themselves. And that's when the officers go home and they feel like at the end of the day, they don't have anybody to talk to because who's really gonna understand that? We don't abandon our partners. We show up when they call for help. But the same principle should be applied to themselves. Don't abandon yourself, especially out of fear of what others will think. We just have to do better. We have to keep doing more and we have to continue the conversation. It's 2019. Why does this feel like one of the only professions that's been left behind in terms of allowing them, all first responders, who need the correct resources to get the help they need? Why haven't we put that at the forefront of everything we do? Why don't we put officer wellness at the forefront? Number one, breaking the stigmas because we're not robotic, we're human. And number two, trying to, after destigmatizing, things with mental health, getting them the help that they need. Um, at the end of the day, society is not going to benefit from sick police officers on the street. The academy is going to give you the skills to hopefully survive and overcome things in your career that could kill you. But never, ever stop learning and developing your growth interpersonally and your mind and understanding what's happening to your body as it uh, is exposed to the various things that they're going to get exposed to in their career. Because there's nothing more important in law enforcement than the need for peer acceptance, the need for peer solidarity, even the small things. It changes uh, your behavior even off duty and what you do off duty for most. One bad move for a police officer when he's least expecting it, he or she is dealing with an insurmountable amount of stress in a moment that they are not expecting and expect to fight all natural human elements such as fear, right? To, to make sure that we bring a resolution to a peaceful outcome. Apply that idea and that concept to any other standard in a profession other than law enforcement, doctors, how about attorneys or teachers? How about all those other things? But we don't. And it's time to continue to humanize law enforcement.